What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out the Eternal Cylinder. This is releasing to the Epic Storefront at the moment, and it's a game where, as I understand it, the game's not out yet, so it's kind of hard to dig up any data on it for a first impressions video. I usually like to do my homework a little bit and like watch some trailers and take a look at like, you know, all of the press releases and whatnot. However, data is kind of thin on this one, so I'm going in a little bit blind, so bear with me. But as I understand it, this is a survival game where you control little creatures and you run around surviving using the power of adorable little odd world s creatures. So we're going to dive on in today. We're going to spend about 25, 30 minutes with the game. See if it's something you wanted to add to your wish list or otherwise pass on if after doing that or watching this video you find that this game is right up your alley. You can look down below in the description. I'll have a link for you down there because this game's on Epic. I assume that it will support the channel. Uh, so fair disclosure there. So anyways, let's go ahead and start on off. We got a lot of ground to cover and who knows how big of an info dump we're going to get at the beginning of the game. In the age of the eternal cylinder, there lived a family of little creatures called the Trebum. Trebum are not the strongest, nor the fastest, and they do not have sharp teeth. They would make easy prey for the terrible force that came to their planet. But Trebum are loyal and resourceful, and very, very stubborn. It is with such a trebum that our story begins. One clever little creature born into a cruel world who would be instrumental in bringing prosperity to its kind. If you ever see a little critter hatching out of an egg, don't ever help it. Um, Evolution-wise, the egg is meant to strengthen the muscles. And the little guy, they're pushing excess blood and stuff out of their system when they get out of the egg. It's the same thing as cutting open a chrysalis for like a, a butterfly or whatever. You're actually harming it by doing so and it'll never be strong enough to live. I feel like that's a piece of information that most people know. Well, you know, just throwing it out there. For the people that don't know. Hey, we hatched! Look at that. Explosively, we have hatched. Run! Run? I was just born, dude! Okay, alright, fair enough. I'm running. I'm running away. I'm moving away from the- Oh, I can roll, dude! Alright! I hit the shift key to see if I could sprint, and apparently I'm good at rolling. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. What? Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Ow! Okay, I hit my head on a rock. I have a protuberance, chat! I feel very, very injured. I don't want to be in the water anymore. Is it behind me right now? Oh, the forest is falling down. Okay. That's probably a bad thing. Oh, it's a dead end. I'm not in love with the fact that I'm stuck here. Oh, no. The forest is not falling. What the hell is that thing? Is that like a massive pastry roller? What is it? Oh, my God. It stopped. Okay, we're okay. It stopped. The great crushing thing, the great cylinder had stopped. Perhaps it was safe here for a little while. How quickly it learned to use its legs and its trunk. But these things were not so much learned as they were remembered. Perhaps, the little Trebum thought, they were a gift from the strange voice it heard in its mind. That too was a kind of memory. An engram, as it was known. Dude, why is there a massive death laser in the sky? So we've got death lasers in front of us. We have this massive pastry roller behind us. I don't feel good about our prospects right now. I'm feeling a little bit concerned. Apparently I can snuffle up against things up inside my face. Choose the material that you have collected. What is it? Do I eat it? Just when it was starting to get used to its legs, the food from the jumping creature gave it new ones. With the right substance as a catalyst, a trebum can transform and adapt to many challenges. Oh, I can jump higher now. I've got like mad hops at the moment. There you go. There's my hoppities right there. I can shoot anything from my inventory. Try shooting at the flying bugs. Okay. Oh, yeah. Looky there. He dropped like a... Th what did he drop on the ground right there? Can I stand inside of this? Does anything bad happen? 
Apparently the blueberry gas does not affect me. Okay, the aiming is kind of weird and like off-center. I definitely, I mean, I get, I'd like to have a little reticle dot or whatever. What is that thing right there? Can I eat that? Hold on, what is that thing in the side of the tree? Can I have that? Ooh, I can. What does it do? Hold on, let's see what it is. It looks like it gives me water. Okay. So we've got a water meter and we've got like a food meter. Where I assume the food meter is the top left thing that's over there. And then like the water meter is obviously down on the bottom left because that's got like a little, you know, it's got a little aqua drop on it. Um, I guess I'll head towards the giant death monolith or monolith. Why not? Let's head on over there. What's the worst thing that could happen by wandering towards giant eldritch magic death lasers? The was drawn to a bright light. Or perhaps to the creature next to it. Can I eat these? Oh, my inventory is full. Okay, so it's a little bit like Slime Rancher in that we've got, like, the vacuum. And we can suck stuff up, but we can only hold, like, a limited amount of things. Gotcha. Except All right. the grass growing on the old one's head. They were very much alike. Wait, is that one of us? I can get that big, dude? Oh, I'm gonna be a big old honker, bro. I'm gonna be like a big old elephant chunk, dude. I'm gonna rule the savannas. They don't even oh, find me a lion. I'm gonna choke it out so I can get this big. Is it dead? Oh no. Surrounded by this light, the Trebum knew things it had not known before. It knew the older Trebum had carried this light for a long, long time. And it knew that now that responsibility had passed to the next generation. Yes, this young Trebum had to carry the light to those great towers in the distance. Are we just going to ignore it that thing that was on the left? To learn many old things. But the cylinder would not allow it. Yeah, that's not great. Run. Like, when are we going to sleep? Voice said, Run. The towers would not stop the cylinder unless they were activated. Yeah, I'm going to activate the cylinder. Here we go. We're going to head off in this direction. Sweet air! There we go. Get a sick jump. It actually feels pretty good in roll mode. Like, it, it feels... It feels tight. Like, it feels okay. Like, the, the steering movement is not hard at all. The Trebom had to step on the symbol or the cylinder would not be stopped. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll on the symbol. Is that okay? Oh, magical foot elephant, stopping the cylinder. Uh, I don't think the cylinder is stopping, dude. Like I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna hope for the best because I don't know how this mechanic works. But please stop, please stop. Oh, I don't want to get crushinated. Oh. Jesus. I get the feeling that that is not how this mechanic works. Oh, it is. The voice inside the Trebum's memories assured it that while the tower stood, the Trebum would be safe. The power of the eternal cylinder was contained for now. Okay. It's a little horrifying. Is it going to, like, give me a heads up? Relative tranquility gave the Trebum a chance to think about its family. Trebum are not meant to live alone, so where were the others? I think I see them. Are those, what is that thing, dude? It's like a giant Spherosaurus Rex, dude. How come I'm not one of those things? I want to be that guy. Trebom are lame, dude. I'm like a little bowling ball with chicken legs. I want to be that guy. I bet that guy doesn't fear the cylinder. He does have kind of, oh my God. Uh, which part is the head? I can't decide if the part up there is the head or there's like eyes on the side too, and that's obviously a mouth. This game is giving me serious Odd World vibes. It's definitely like strange to look at. What is that giant dead thing up there? Is that a creature? It kind of looks like a creature. Let's go. Let's go investigate. We're gonna go on jolly good adventures. I'm gonna hop on up to here. Where to go? Your tread bomb is too young to swim across. Watch for beams of light that come from activated towers, they will guide you to your objectives or points of interest. Okay. What to do or where to go. But the friendly voice suggested this was not the right way. Oh, God! To find your path, it said, you must find... 
Well, that was anticlimactic. I was expecting there to be like a cutscene or something where I got eaten and instead it was just like, don't game over. Like there was no like, wait, there was no gravitas to it. But what I know now is that we definitely do not go towards that egg creature right there. That egg creature is a problem. Let me get a little bit of water back here. Yeah, let me pull some water out of like some of these trees and stuff. Okay. How do I become an elder thing? I have a vested interest in becoming an elder thing. Is that merely like a case of don't get eaten? Is this like one of those natural situations where we're just gonna like try to wholeheartedly avoid getting eaten until we're so big that we eat everything else? If so, just let me know up front. All right, so we gotta get up there to whatever the, oh my God. I'm gonna take a rough guess and say that this planet has a very, very oxygen-rich atmosphere. The reason why is because there's kind of a hard limiting of size when it comes to creatures. Because they have to be able to bring in enough oxygen. I mean, who's to say they even breathe oxygen? But that being said, I'm gonna assume that this place has a very, very oxygen-rich atmosphere. Or whatever rich atmosphere. What is this thing over here? Does it harm me? Can I vacuum anything over here? No? Okay. Is that thing hostile? Is it gonna hurt me? It seems like it might be hostile. I'm getting a serious hostile feeling from this thing. Dude, I'm just trying to stand on top of this paddock over here. That's all that I want. Okay, so if we stand on that right there. Oh, God! Okay, he's trying to hurt me. He definitely wants to harm me. Uh, I'm gonna guess that that door right there is how we get up to the top. But how we pull that off, I'm not super sure. I shot mushrooms at him, but he doesn't seem to care about mushrooms. So my thinking is we've got to get these two other little symbols activated over here. Oh, we've got to have three tray bombs with us. It's a little symbol of a tray bomb on the little gold coins on the door. Okay, so we got to find our tribe first. Let's go see if we can find the homies. We're going to have a pack. And then we're going to roll around with the magnified strength of a thousand little spherical guys. I do like the reflective effects. Like, the world is really good looking. It's definitely odd and weird. And that sort of, like, endears it to me. I like odd, weird stuff. Like Oddworld, for example. That's why I keep bringing it up as a reference. Is that, like, very, very strange things always resonate with me. Let's see if we can find our tribe around here somewhere. Maybe we have to rescue a tray bomb. Is that a tray bomb on top right there? I can't tell. I don't really want to go in the water. We don't seem like we're an aquatic creature. Like, given our physiology, my best guess is that probably water is not the greatest place for us to be. What does this thing do? I have to do it. Oh, I thought maybe it was some kind of trap plan or something. Okay. Well, our water looks okay. I think we just gotta find our tribe. Not gonna lie, when I eat, it kinda looks like I'm shoving the thing up my butt. I'm not gonna lie to you. It, it's a little bit suspect. Like, I don't think that mushrooms go in the butt. Um, I, I think they go in the mouthpiece, but I think it just might be an issue with the angularity at which I am viewing the situation. Right, let's see if we can find, like, a high vantage point, maybe? Oh, there's a tail over here. Can I travel up the tail? Oh, that actually might be the play here. Yeah, let's see if we can travel up the tail. Because this guy's got the blue glowy stuff on him. Like, let's not too, get too out of control here. But I think this might be what's intended. We're supposed to go up the little taily thing. Yeah, you go ahead and roll. Give it your best strength, but... So the laser's going off into the left. What is that? Does this do anything? I wonder if there's fall damage. I have curiosities. Oh, I found one! Finding another Trebum was a cause for joy. But this new friend was not. Oh no, alive. dude, my little homie's sick! Deep inside the memories it had inherited, the Trebum found the answer. 
to recover. Its friend needed a very specific substance which appeared as glittering clusters of crystal dust. This dust was not natural. Only a great Trevum could create it. And so it was on the achievements of previous generations that the newborn Trebum would have to rely. Luckily, it seemed a wise and powerful Trebum had passed through here some time ago. Okay. Was it the dead one that we saw over there? Because, like, I want to help my little dude out right here. Oh, I can see. I'm gonna bake a crystal. I can see it right there. Okay, let's get the let's get the magic medicine dust. Hold on, medicine dust, come to me. Spoiler alert, it's just methamphetamine, dude. It it's literally just naturally grown, holistically sourced, uh, artisanal methamphetamine. That's it. We just gotta inject it straight into his heart, and everything will be okay. Yeah, give me a little bit more crystal dust right here. I need to yeah, get that all up in my schnoz right there. Nice, dude. We have Genu. He's entered on in. Sweet. Okay. Is there any more crystal dust around? Well, we've got two of us now. Now we just got to find, like, a third Trabum. If we could find a third Trabum, we're going to be in good... Dude, the Trabum sounds like a part of your body that you're not allowed to talk about. Like, it sounds like a part of the human body that will be like, Ugh, that dude's got a gnarly Trabum. Like, you're not allowed to point it out. Like, it's just, like, one of those body parts that's not polite to bring up in, in conversation. Like, I can refer to my knee during a normal, like, dinner time supper conversation. But, bro, don't ever talk about my Trabum in front of my mom, bro. Don't do that. Yes, I am, I am aware. Oh, we can find eggs, too? Okay. Well, that was a useful piece of information. So, like, I knew about finding the Trabums. I figured that out just from the coins that were on the door. But, is he still with me? Yo, where did Genu go? Oh, there he is. I was going to say, dude, we got strength in numbers out here, man. We got to stick together. As far as I've seen, literally everything in this world is bigger than me, tougher than me, better at eating, killing, eviscerating, destroying than me. Uh, the only thing we have going for us right now is this sweet-ass ability to turn into a little ball that rolls around. And then on top of that, um, numbers. Numbers is the other thing that we have going for us. Like, so we just got to use, like, mob tactics out here. I'm going to try to sneak around this thing, but I can't guarantee I'm not going to get eaten. Oh, dude, he coming. Run! Flee, Genu. Flee for your life. I was trying to get around behind. That thing looks like it's going to hurt me. Is it going to hurt me, dude? I think it's going to hurt me. I'm going to eat some foodles real fast. As of right now, I don't really see what the food is actively doing when I eat it. Like, I can put stuff inside my nose and, like, fire it out. So, like, I can fire the mushrooms at stuff. So, I assume I'm probably going to use that as some kind of, like, baiting mechanic. Or some kind of mechanic to kind of draw enemies to certain locations or something. And then we, like, push a big rock on their head or something. I don't know, dude. Oh, there's little tray bums over there, dude. I see them. They're rolling. Yeah, they're singing the song of my people. Let's go rescue them. I shall become their new king. Powerful and ter- Those aren't tray bums. I don't know what those are, dude, but nope. I'm not going to- I'm not getting licked today on camera, all right? It's just something I didn't sign up for. I woke up a little bit late today. You know, I'm a little bit sluggish. I'm probably not firing on all of my cylinders, of which I'm already limited. Um... No, dude. I'm not getting licked on camera today. I think I'll uh, just avoid that situation entirely. Found an egg. <gasps> a Trebum egg with one of his siblings inside. Oh, let's break the him out. The egg had been abandoned, but it could still be made to hatch. All that was needed was a source of heat. Uh, I think I noticed these little flowers over here. There was those big yellow flowers with, like, the mouth on them. The thing that looked kind of like a... Like a Venus flytrap that I thought was going to trap me up. That thing made a little heat meter come up. So, like, I think we might want to take this over to one of those. Oh, there's, like, a furnace right here, too. Um. That seems to be working. Oh, he just hatches when you put him in there. Yay, it's Grogoopy! 
Come on, Grogoop. Get out of the lava, man. Come on, you're gonna burn your shins, dude. We can't have people with scuffed-ass chins in the squad. We're trying to look good out here. Now we just gotta find, like, the aviator plant so that we can all wear aviator shades while we walk around. Alright, so we've got three Trabums right now. That makes me think we can finally get inside of this gate over here. You guys don't get eaten by him. I'm gonna be very upset with you if you get eaten by the sphere monster. I learned that lesson the hard way. It ate me, and now I am passing on that information to you like, hey, don't get eaten by the sphere monster. I don't know if the... It looks like this gives me energy. Oh my. A dematic trunk. I can make a sound that will startle or frighten predators. Oh, cool, dude. I've got fart mouth now. Huzzah! All right, I'm going to see if I can scare this guy off. Hold on. Let's go find this man over here. Oi! Oi! Yeah, you don't like that, huh? You don't like that? Oh, wow. He was actually able to destroy the environment. That was kind of crazy. Door had been built for Trebon. It gave them hope that in this large and dangerous world, some places had been made for them. The Elder Cave. All right, let's go inside of it and see what's up. Not gonna lie, this game actually kind of has me interested right now. It, it's like a complex mixture of like spore and also like a standard fair survival game where you've got to like eat and drink. But then again, there's also kind of like a Pikmin aspect to it where like you've got to grow your little herd and having more guys allows you to accomplish more things and like you're evolving along the way. Oh, and you can swap between them. That means we can involve them in different directions, and they'll have different abilities. So we have, like, a warrior tray bomb. We have a tray bomb that jumps really, really high. We have a tray bomb that's, like, super ridiculous fast. What is that? Okay. I think it might be busted. I'm gonna need some water pretty soon, in all honesty. That kind of looks like a chaos symbol. That makes me worried about the future of tray bombity. Does any of this stuff, like, give me food or water? I need water. Oh, cool. Those little spheroid things give me... Oh, that was an accident. I didn't mean to do that. Let me, let me hop on out the corner real fast. All right, so these give me food. So we'll just kind of eat those up right now. Okay, okay, okay. We're looking a little bit stronger. Stamina meter's going back up. Looks like our water meter's about half filled, so I can live with that. Just something to help us move on for a minute. Is there any more dust around here? Because I could definitely bake another crystal. Interact. What do you mean? Somehow, oh, God. The ancient statue transferred knowledge to the treble. A rare organic growth found near ancient tray bomb structures. Most likely, is that it's Jude? It's a bundle of tongues. Don't lie to me. Why are you lying to me right now? It's a bundle of tongues. It was as if a memory had been stored inside it, waiting for someone to absorb it. And as soon as this knowledge had entered their minds, the tray bomb realized that there was a great library of information hidden away in the web of their memories. But why was the knowledge of a specific ingredient placed here in this trebum made of stone? Huh. Well, there's our meat cube. It looks like it gives me energy, maybe? Yeah, go ahead and spit it out. We'll give it to one of the other tray bombs. Yeah, we'll give it to Genu. Because, like, I don't know what this is going to do to his abilities, so, like... Alright, so, Genu, uh, eat this indecipherable object that we found in an Elder Shrine. Oh, dude, turned him into a square! So now he can enter special openings in sacred places and unlock mechanisms. Okay. Um, let me go back real fast to... Did we lose a guy? Where's our other guy at? Oh, he's stuck over here. So there seems to be some minor pathfinding issues going on with these little dudes. Okay. Good thing to take note of. Yeah, give me the crystal dust for healing people. 
There we go. Okay, so we got the crystal dust. Now, let's do we all have to eat that right there? Hold on, I'm still mining. Perfect. I think we all have to eat that right there so that we can all get through the little opening. All right. Well, let's knock it down. And he's already got one. So he can eat that right now. That seems horrifically painful. Like, it seems like something rearranging one's bodily structure at notice like that, like over a long amount of time, it probably wouldn't be that uncomfortable. But like instantaneously though, like, ow. Seems like it would sting a little bit. All right, well, let's go back through the ceremonial opening. Oh, dude, we found the elder. We found the elder. Inside the cave, Trebum found a living elder. It had been waiting in this chamber for a long, long time. The elder told them it was happy to see some friends before the cylinder came. It said, you are young, so you never knew the time when our people could shapeshift at will. We, Trebum, are inheritors of a vast tree of abilities. Abilities passed on to all future Trebum. But this power is being taken away. Beware the servants of the Cylinder. They will seek to hurt you at every opportunity. And they have the power to rob you of your abilities. But if you persevere, one day you will find a way to protect yourselves from their evil light. Farewell, my brave friends. I fear I am too old and tired to join you. May you find a way to prosper in this time of struggles. Okay. Thank you for your farts of enlightenment. I appreciate it, Elder. All right. So let's just kind of scoop up some of this crystally bits here because I got a feeling we're going to need them down the line. Any more crystally bits around here? I guess not, but let's cube our way on outside. Back we go to the greater world. What an odd game, dude. Easy to leave the cave, but the elder had urged them to go forward. Suddenly, they felt the weight of their many tasks. To find their Trebum siblings. To restore the powers their people had lost. And it all seemed a little daunting. But even when they are afraid, Trebum are stubborn. All right. Well, we've spent some time with the game. As far as the control aspects, I feel like the game controls reasonably well. The pathfinding on the little tray bomb seems to get kind of like confused from now and again and they get like stuck in a rock or something, but I guess they free themselves. Uh, the game seems to be sort of targeting an emergent style of gameplay where it's all about show, don't tell. Uh, they are enlightening us a little bit with the little snippets of the elder and whatnot, but really this is a hostile, dangerous world and just like a baby animal, you gotta gotta go out and figure out what's a threat. You know, what's a boon? What's a food? How do I swim? All this kind of stuff. All at the same time, protecting your pack and trying to help them get older. As a content, as, as kind of like a counterbalance to that, you've also got like the cylinder, which is rolling and apparently kind of causing the apocalypse of the world. And so it's like principally important that we outrun that. As far as the options menus go, let's take a look and see what we got here. Uh, so we can turn the narrator on and off. We've got all the standard fair audio effects, accessibility options through subtitles right there. Uh, it looks like it does have an easy mode that you can put on just in case the game is too hard or you're struggling with it. That's good. What a lot of people fail to think about with regards to accessibility options is that like not everyone is kind of equipped the same. Some people are disabled or some people may really have trouble keeping up with kind of the difficulty of a game. But at the same time, they're still gamers. They still want to play a game. And so like having this stuff available for people who might be disabled or might have a harder time with like the complex movements or whatever or like the timings or whatever it's good to have or just for people that want to have a relaxed journey through the game uh, i totally agree with including stuff like that uh, it looks like in the graphics options we can adjust the brightness right there v-sync is there just in case you're getting tearing uh, resolution scale can be adjusted and then of course all of your standard fair quality options uh, that seems to be about it so anyways this is the eternal cylinder 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Today up on the chopping block was the Eternal Cylinder. Tomorrow it will likely be something else. Thank you for hanging out with me, and I will see you all with something hot and fresh off the indie skillet tomorrow. Bye, everybody.